Welcome to Liquid Llama's first game, Necro Wars. At the time of recording this video, I'll be honest, I am I'm pretty sick right now, so forgive me if I sound weird or nervous or even just look like Casper. Sorry. This game throws you straight in without a lot of context. They will hit you with a little bit of dialogue and they throw you into the battle after describing what the characters do without telling you what to do with the characters. So the first little bit of this game, I was just struggling and failing, trying to learn what's going on. But from what I learned, I'll tell you guys what I know. This is a game that takes a lot of inspiration from Advanced Wars. The battle system is simple and easy to pick up, but it's a hard one to master, especially when you're trying to figure out the physics of the game. The three big components this game leans on is the land, vision, and weather where the battle's happening. When snow is on the field, it gives a huge decrease in mobility to any units that might have six to seven tiles that can move, bringing them down to one to two tiles at a time. All characters on the field do share the same vision, it's just a matter of where you have who and what they can see during the positioning. The land tiles just means what your character is currently standing on. If you're in the forest, they have limited vision of your character, while if you're on the mountains, it can give you a plus two defense, or your own castle, plus three defense, and that doesn't sound like a lot, but it really does affect everything. The game currently offers three different game modes, the campaign, war games, and challenges, and I'm not sure if they're going to be adding more, but I have a feeling they will be at least adding more to the challenges and war games. War games is just a set of different maps for you to test your skills with all that you have to beat the opponent. On the other hand, the challenge maps give you different scenarios for you to play and fight in, such as no ranged units, limited health, limited units, or just tricky maps altogether that you have no respawns in. With this being Liquid Llama's first game, I really did enjoy what I did play of it. I only sunk my teeth into an hour of it so I could just quickly pop out a little review for you guys so you know what's going on. This game has quite a few pros where it is aesthetically pleasing. It's smaller maps and it's easier for you to get into if you're new to this genre of game and that is something that I do appreciate. It definitely eases you into everything as well, like the mechanics or the new units that you get where it gives you one at a time, and like I said, even though it did hurt at the beginning where they didn't give you a lot of freedom, it did give you the time to learn your units and some of the mechanics before it did give you a respawning brawl. One of the biggest cons in my opinion though is that it does leave you not knowing what to do at the beginning and punishing you for it. If you don't know what's going on or how the leveling system works, you're gonna be hurt and it's gonna hit you and knock you down and it's not gonna pull its punches for you because you don't know what's going on. After my time playing, I still don't fully know the benefits of leveling up your character. Like, your defense goes up a bit, but it doesn't tell you specifically how much, it still tells you the base stats of a level 1 character. The leveling system happens where the more actions that your character proceeds, if he attacks or gets attacked, the EXP on your character goes up, which can go up to a max of I believe level 3 for every unit. But that doesn't carry over to the next map, it doesn't give him a promotion to a stronger character, it shows you the base stats, and doesn't give you much info past that. There's not too many advanced mechanics either, like there's no flanking system, so if you get your character behind another, there's no critical damage or anything, it's a set base attack based off of their location, and I like that, but I also don't. It gets rid of some of the strategy that games similar have. I know with my little gripes I just told you about, this sounds a little contradictory, but I do recommend getting this game. The biggest problems that I did have with this game is I was just lost, and that's something that you can get just experimenting and playing the game itself. You you know? The game is planning to drop on January 10th or tomorrow from the time of this video's release. It doesn't have a set price on its Steam listing. I'm not sure if that's a good change or if it's just going to be a public game for you to try and get to know their studio, but I recommend checking it out and thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you all next time. Cheers!